This video will show two examples on how to determine probability involving a uniform distribution. The time it takes worker number one to complete a task is uniformly distributed between 10 minutes and 16 minutes. So because we have a uniform distribution, we know the probability density function is a horizontal line because the minimum value is 10 minutes and the maximum value is 16 minutes. We grab a horizontal line from 10 to 16 as shown here below. We want to find the probability that the task will take between 11 and 13 minutes and find the probability as a simplified fraction as well as a decimal to four decimal places. We indicate this as the probability that the random variable x is greater than 11 and less than 13. We can represent this probability as area by shading the area under the probability density function from 11 to 13. Let's go ahead and do that. Again, this red area represents a probability we are trying to find where the probability that x is greater than 11 and less than 13. And again, we know the total area of the distribution rectangle is equal to one. So there's two ways to find this area. One way is to think of this as a fraction bar. So if we divide the large rectangle into equally sized pieces or parts, we can determine what fraction the fraction bar represents. Let's begin by doing this. Notice how we have six equally sized pieces, two of which are shaded, and therefore this represents the fraction 2 6. And of course, 2 6 simplifies to 1 third because 2 and 6 have a common factor of 2. The other way to find the red area would be to find the area of the rectangle. We can find the area of the rectangle by determining the base times the height. To do this, though, we do need to find the height by determining the probability density function, which is f of x equals 1 divided by the quantity b minus a, where b is the maximum value of 16, a is the minimum value of 10, which gives us f of x equals 1 sixth, which means the height is 1 sixth, and the base, this length here, is equal to the value on the right minus the value on the left, 11 minus 13 is equal to 2. And let's go ahead and label that up here. So the area of the rectangle is equal to the base times the height is 2 times 1 sixth, which of course gives us 2 sixths. So if we simplify first, there's 1, 2, and 2, and 3, 2s, and 6, which gives us a simplified product of 1 third. To express 1 third as a decimal to four decimal places, we divide 1 by 3. 1 divided by 3 is equal to 0 0.3 repeating, which means the four decimal places, 1 third is approximately 0 0.3333. Let's take a look at one more example. The time it takes worker 2 to complete a task is uniformly distributed between 11 and 16 minutes. So now we graph the horizontal line from 11 to 16 as shown below. And again, because we have a uniform distribution, we know the total area of the distribution rectangle, or the area under the probability density function from 11 to 16 must be equal to one. We're asked to find the probability the task will take between 12 and 15 minutes, which is the probability that x is greater than 12 and less than 15. Let's go ahead and shade the area that represents this probability. So 12 is here, 15 is here, Go ahead and shade that area. This red area represents the probability we are trying to find. So again, thinking this is a fraction bar, we can see the red area represents the fraction 3 fifths, which does give us the probability we are looking for. And 3 fifths is equal to 3 divided by 5, which is equal to 0 0.6. So we don't need four decimal places to express the probability exactly in decimal form. And of course, the other method would be to find the area of the rectangle by determining the base times the height. To find the height again, we need to find the probability density function, which we can see above as f of x equals 1 fifth. So the height of the rectangle is 1 fifth, and the base is equal to 15 minus 12. 15 minus 12 is equal to 3. 
So the base times the height is 3 times 1 fifth, which of course also gives us 3 fifths. I hope you found this helpful.